a lot of times if as you start to work out you'll develop muscle soreness the next day and there's actually a lot of things that you could do and there's a lot of folklore in what can reduce the muscle soreness for example ice baths will reduce the muscle soreness the actual pain but they can interfere with your body's ability to actually build more muscle if you're doing a lot of weight training and you get that post-exercise muscle soreness the next day or the following day if you want to reduce pain sleep painkillers and ice baths do help reduce the pain the problem is is that those two things will interfere with muscle protein synthesis you're exercising you're breaking down muscle in order to build it but then you're interfering with it by trying to reduce pain what i do find of benefit is massage there's various ways of doing it you could use massage guns you could use your hands after this ride i'm going to show you a new tool that i have that makes it easier to get the benefits of massage i will see you in about four hours i will show you exactly what i'm using now thing is doing is it first squeezes your feet then it squeezes your calves and then it squeezes your thighs and it has an option here for different intensities uh, different modes and it has heat and I'll tell you I could get used to this so I'm gonna start using this as an additional uh, recovery aid because again this what this does is it creates fluid um, circulation in your lower extremities especially after a long bike ride which I had today and so if you're athletic you can get this I'll put a link down below in the description and you can look at the price and there's I've actually looked at these uh, not this brand but a different brand and they're in the thousands of dollars and so I think this might be of great value.